Hey everyone, it's Lonely Demon, aka Andrew here, here to do my movie review for you guys. My day will be reviewing the film called Belly of the Bulldog. Now, I went to go see the world premiere of this film at Halloween Fright Fest in London. Um, I also got like a cool poster while I was at the premiere of all the actors and the director's signature, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, the film's about this group of mercenary soldiers, group of British soldiers that they're going through like the remote countryside of England just to try and escape from the opposing side. They're trying to take cover. They find this tank and they all get inside it trying to protect themselves from what's from the outside. But the enemy isn't them. It's actually what's amongst themselves. And this, they soon discover that once they find out that they can't get out of this tank and what's, what's actually been involved, they soon discover who each other actually are. That one, one of the um, soldiers, he gets left behind. He's like, I think he's like a prisoner. He he kind of like um, he kind of tries to um, attack them. He tries to like, like get against them because they're kind of like left him behind. So it's them against him as well. Also, there's like this really weird monster. I like you see um, this monster here. He's like this really weird creature with like a gas mask. He's literally like little flashes of him, like them after him. But the real enemy is what's amongst themselves. It's really cool, like really close space. How they how they made this. It's really hard to describe because it's really a really simple film, just like a field and like a tank. But it did work really well. It did really feel like really enclosed. And it's the kind of film that you have to understand if you watch it a second time. I've only seen it. A I only seen it once, so I'm kind of still in a mindset about what's actually happened. So I kind of like to see a second eye just to understand a bit more because it's it's one of the kind of films you have to like see and concentrate properly. But what they did to it is really good. It's nothing, nothing amazing. It's not gonna be like oh my god, it's not gonna be packed full of action and gore because it's not that kind of film. It's more like a slow, um, artistic kind of film. Well, not not artistic, but it's kind of like nothing, nothing. Nothing's going to jump out of you or anything like that. If you've seen a film called A Field in England, it's a bit like that, where it's just like a field and just the actors talking, but it's not boring whatsoever. I think because the time is just 80 minutes, it's just perfect for this kind of film. I thought if it's any longer or if it's um, any shorter, it wouldn't work, but they did it perfectly. I'd give this film an 8 out of 10. I highly recommend you go and see this film if it does come out. Um, they were deserves it, especially from like a low budget, because I did I did really see the low budget in this really did see the low budget in this film. I can understand why they did it and but it's a really good film, so yeah, check out and um yeah, this is watching. Bye.